This is a real quick video with some tips I have for Source Filmmaker, specifically for workshop items, uh, so they don't look like shit. Uh, number one, FOV. It's probably the most important thing you can do for your image, as it's the difference between your item looking good and looking like an earnest cover. All right, number two is aperture, and this correlates to the amount of blur the background has. So what you're going to want to do is set your aperture to one and have the focal plane intersect with the main part you want in focus. I usually use what's referred to as the rule of thirds in photography. It's a guideline that basically means uh, put your main subject either to the left or the right of the center point because the center point looks really boring. Alright, next thing is lighting. Uh, ideally your map is going to have an area that's either dark or you find a dark lit map. Uh, for certain things like the pyro diving mask I used a night version of two fort which worked very well so it lets you craft the lighting in the way you want so here's a quick demonstration of a really easy three-point lighting setup basically you have a key light on the left a fill light on the right to fill in shadows and another light in back to give a rim highlight if there's a map you want to use that is pretty bright already just lower the tone map scale in the camera settings and compensate by using a bunch of lights in the Source Filmmaker resources thread on Facepunch, you can find these green screen models that I've used on quite a bit of my items. That way you can use the lighting you want and still use the background that you would like to use. I also have some thumbnail specific tips that I'm going to shoot off real quick here. So uh, number one is make it about the item. Um, it doesn't really matter if you can tell what class the item is for. Because uh, people know what the scout looks like, but maybe they don't know what that really minuscule, tiny thing you added to him looks like. Alright, uh, as far as borders and rim lighting, uh, it's a pretty popular thing that a lot of workshoppers do. I usually do it. It looks okay. I don't know. Alright, well, that's all the tips I have. If you guys like this, uh, let me know. If you hated it, let me know so I don't do another one. Sorry.